What's happening guys? You join me here just as we're about to enter the Nehru Mine after a lot of puzzling and dungeoning outside here. I mean it was a very, very expansive outer dungeon, but we figured everything out, we sorted all the little puzzles contained within, and now we've got the dungeon to enjoy, so let's step inside. Lift myself up, get ready for the dungeon crawl! His stern expression is like, yeah, I'm gonna totally take this place down. Isn't half as daunting as the uh, fire coming out of the other one, the uh, heated air. Music's a bit. Okay, random spider things. You're gonna just die. Yes, we're not gonna have any fuss or bother from you. Get away from me, scorpions! They leave little skulls as they die, that's kind of interesting. So all that was was rupees. I'm not too interested in rupees, I gotta say. You suck, I hate you. We're gonna bomb the crap out of you guys. We're getting you out of my room. You have to understand, we do not want you here. Okay, so we've got more of these switches that were involved with the shortcut look where we have to uh, run and jump onto them. After we get rid of these guys, we can start moving along. I'm sure I can make that run. We'll give it a go. Try to get the heart in the meantime. Yeah, just barely. Look, <laughs> tired out to crap. Scorpions on the roof. Pull down. Get away from me. <laughs> you make some odd screeching noises that I do not appreciate. Oh, that opens the little chest, which isn't really what I needed in any way, shape, or form. Let's go get some more rupees, eh? If I don't drown in sand again. What we do need is to move on with this room. 20 rupees, thank you. More hearts, thank you. Now the next question, making it from here to there. Get rid of these scorpion things. I'm guessing, I'm hoping they don't do anything a bit more lethal than just going squeak and dying. I do prefer their squeak and dying. Okay, let's just drop a bomb in the bomb holder over here. Maybe he'll knock the switch down for us. Or maybe not. Question is, can I run that far? Oh yes, I obviously can because I ran that further than that there. Oh, let's pray. Man, you get tired out doing that. Switch to the next room, lush. Small puzzle sorted. Let's head back. One room down. Who knows how many more rooms to go? Oh, we got some more of these serpent things we met in the first dungeon. Have to swipe all their heads at once and not get hit by them. Man. There we go. After you hit one, you only have to hit one head, then they'll all set themselves up for you. See? So then they'll set themselves up in a side with slash battle. Easy way to defeat them, isn't it? And they drop nice rupees. No! <laughs> I'm gonna miss this rupee now as well. Okay, so what we got going on here? We got some sand, we got some scorpions again. You think I'm gonna get hit by you? You've got nothing coming. We got jelly blob from them. 
It's okay, jelly blobs, we've got loads of them already. Bombs, we did need some more bombs. I wonder what these big things are, but... This puzzle. We're not getting anywhere near. We just need to get up, I assume. There's nothing else we can do in this room, no switches hidden on high. Dungeon key door. It's a barred door, so we need to go up there. It's the only place we can go. So what we need to do is just push one of these boxes, isn't it? Yeah. I think more hard than that. Yep. Yeah, that was fairly simplistic. I was expecting with so many boxes there, the puzzle would be a little bit harder. The music stops, so what's going on here? Oh, no barred door. Big room though. Fills our bombs up. Time to possibly save it, because I haven't saved in a while. Okay, we got a barred door. Some kind of switch on the other side. Boxes in the oh hello electric choo choo. Oh, get off me! How many times will I get electrocuted by you fiends by the end? Oh, the other one commits suicide. We love enemies that commit suicide here. Okay, everything is barred off, so we obviously have to do something involving Beetle Friend. Let's go, Beetle Friend. We're gonna have to bomb something. Who knows what though? What are we bombing? Can't bomb the switch. Can we bomb the crest thing? No? Okay, so what are we bombing? Well, I can obviously bomb these boxes, but I don't think I can make that jump. Or maybe I can make the jump. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to take the leap of faith. Here we go. Lovely. Oh man, not the other one off. Remember, we need monster claws on those guys, so we can start upgrading items. What have we got here then? Dungeon map? Dungeon key for the previous room? Dungeon key. So that is for the previous room. I don't, I'm not sure we can continue any further in this room. No. There is no way we can continue further in this room while I'm fit. Oh my god, you moron! I didn't mean to jump, I just wanted to walk off onto the ladder. There we go, that's all I wanted to do, just that you did then. There we go, go down the ladder. I've just noticed I have 666 rupees. What a number. Back to the previous room. That's a long loading time, isn't it? Six, six, six. The number of my rupees. Let's get in here, and hopefully it's not some kind of mini boss. No, it's another gigantic puzzle room. Bloody hell, we're gonna have a lot of puzzle rooms in here, it seems. What on earth are you? Are you a puffer fish? Did it explode? Okay, we remember not to mess with you. Ow! I don't know, look at you. Just killed all the scorpions on that wall. I'm guessing I can climb this wall. I don't like the look of these conveyor belts of abject doom and misery. Ooh, jelly blob, thank you. Materials are always welcome. I can't go up there either, unless well, unless they bomb it, of course. Is there any bomb to use? No. Electric chew. Get off me, you! And now I attack it. Ugh. 
Does that remind me of Popeye? Oh no, I don't want to go down there. Bloody hell, I don't want to go down there. Is it seriously like I have to run there, or... Or where? Where do I go from here? Aha, wait a second. I maybe go up there. I gotta get that bomb all the way up around there. Let's do some massive turning. That's a switch. Lovely, lovely. Screw that box. Step on the switch and I would assume start the conveyor belts. Oh no, no, time dilation field, or whatever it was called. Of course, reactivating that is going to reactivate all the old machinery, so the conveyor belts with the extremely nasty spikes at the end and pretty much everything that seems to be built to hurt me a lot. Whatever these are. More new enemies. Also, we can change back time. Well, these lines. Wow, we're gonna kill you pretty fast. The line across made it a bit easier to go to slash, and then. Whoa! No, don't let you Why is everything gonna let you kill me now, enemies? Get the sun in the eye. Oh again. Why does everything have to electrocute me? And now the, the spikiness has been replaced with more electricity. So just when I, you know, I, I think things can get any worse in terms of electricity, there's more of it. More crap to electrocute the crap out of me. I'm just going to go straight across. That can be about moves fast. What's up here then? Switch. What do you do? Opened a chest all the way over there, which I don't really want to go to. Hearts, nice. Let's go gently down, gently down, gently down. There we go. Now we gotta run up there. Some way, somehow, we gotta make it all the way to the other side. We're gonna make it and not get killed yet. Oh, come on, just climb, lad, Link. It's not rocket science, mate. We have an enemy. Oh, you were electrocuting kids! Oh, you, I hate you! Look, <laughs> feel the venom in my throat. Just give me some heart. One heart. I don't care about the rubies. Just give me some health. I feel I've taken enough punishment in the last god knows how long with everything electrocuted me. I just want a heart, man. Have a heart. No! There we go. Made to the other side. Lovely. Do we have any more things of absolute objects? That's kind of cool. To be honest, in a Zelda, I've never seen anything generally mechanical happening, so this is kind of an interesting experience in my own like right. I mean, you got to guess according to... I've obviously got to go up this conveyor belt. According to, like, the lore they showed you at the start of the game. There was a civilization on the ground before... What the fudge, man? I haven't told you to do that! Stab in the freaking eye! Hit you! There was a civilization on the ground beforehand, so after all, they seem to be pretty damn advanced. Oh god. Here we go, into the next room. And more puzzles! In fact, that time relation field only worked on that room, it seems. Mix of going down and up and using the puffer fish to blow up rocks, I imagine. Don't worry, bro, you're my ticket out of here. 
exactly, that's exactly what you gotta do, and there's those little scorpion buggers patrolling underneath me. Are they trying to get me? Oh my god, look how many scorpions there are there! Can't kill them then, I'm guessing. Ah, it kills more things. Literally, I can't do this to kill every single one, though, so that would be really freaking tedious and boring. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it, bro? Oh, that, that worked for me. Create massive explosion. Kill en masse. Always a good thing to do. I think that bomb just... is the bomb still in there? No. Oh, they respawn. Ah, spikes! Maybe I should just go up the ladder, which is kind of like hinting at me anyway, before going that way. That one landed on his ass. What the hell was the use in it? What have we got here? Dungeon map? Another key? We'll find out. You got the gust fellows. It's an ancient and mystical device capable of blowing an endless gust of wind. If you feel the controls are out of the line when you use inside, press down to center them again. Okay. Something new, something some new toy to play with. Okay, now we've got even more things we can blow apart for rupees and stuff. Does it ever run out of puff? Whee! Puff. Okay. Ah! Get away from me! Oh, at least it gives hearts as well. These bellows, they're massive! Look at them! And he really has to pick up and tote one of them. Like a gun. I don't know, he just got really badly, like, pierced. In a bad place to get pierced. In a really bad place. Why is there, like, loads of... Loads of sand on that pile there, though? I guess the bigger the pile, the better the prize. <laughs> ah, they jump you! That scared me slightly. May as well pick up the uh, items. I am using the treasure medal after all. Oh, okay, we just clear off. Come on, me. Blow all your sand away. I don't know why I'm shaking it as well, I could just point it at it, but... And out. I think there was another door that I didn't check the way of. Well, I hope that wasn't a bad step. We open up another... Oh, we open up shortcuts. Okay, shortcuts for days. So let's check out that other area. Just quickly, you know, in, in spirit of exploration. You know how it is, yeah? Spirit of exploration. No, none of the baddies should just. Oh, all the baddies have respawned, which means. I was about to say they're on this ladder with me, but no, they're not. It's another shortcut platform. Check on you. I don't think we can make the jump there, but we're gonna get down anyway. Let's go all the way round to get to you. There's a treasure chest down there as well. Just in a in a place that's just too tantalising to get. This is obviously materials. Got a blue bird feather. Very few small birds. Blah blah blah. We've already read it. Got two of them now. Three of them now. Yep. Several of some of the rare stuff, and we're still looking for more. So we want to come back round here. All the way round, is that? Yes, it's all the way round. So you do not die unless I literally kill you, kill you.
Me falling down was no issue to me, I mean, just get back and just go around a different way. Why not me? Hmm, actually there is no way to get to that platform that we just spent ages trying to get to. There's no way I can make that jump. So maybe that platform's for later or something else, we will never know. We got a treasure chest in there, so it wasn't such a bad little bit of exploration, I must say. Especially if those things actually turn out scarce later on, and we just managed to pick up a nice amount of them already. Okay, then, this room. What do we do here? Obviously, we're gonna do something involving these. Ah, get away from me! Here we go, there's that nice careful jump that I wanted all along. Ah, oh, you dirt! <laughs> I just resigned the defeat there. Still, how to move from here to the next room? Because without getting, like, up there or something, we're a bit clueless. Or at least I'm a bit clueless. I said back in the previous room. See if the gust bellows do anything. There is a lot of sand down there with boxes after all. Maybe we're looking for some kind of switch to open the other door on the other side. Is it the one with the bars? Squeal all you want, piggies. Whoa, they jumped at you! So it's really nothing like that. Can destroy the boxes. I was thinking there might be some kind of switch to uncover. Or some switch above the pool. I want to blow the box. And what will this allow us to do? Ah ha ha! We did find a switch! I bet you it's a pressure play as well. See? Yep, I follow Zelda logic. I know where to go next. Can't sort a room, it's obviously in the previous room. Blah blah blah. Get that. Not climb it, Link. Push it. So, we won't push it. Push it in your food. Why do I remember things like that while well, I'm doing a let's play? What's okay? Don't know. Just a nutter, obviously. Whole oh, new room. Are you getting that quick sound? Yeah, you get blown away. Ah. What are we doing then? You better die. We get on to you. And I'm assuming that this is some kind of raft. I'm assuming completely and utterly incorrectly. Because that's what I do. So now we have to blow all these to make sure there's no kind of switch, don't we? I'll say this music is getting a little bit annoying in this. Keep away from me, I'll slash you for days. Okay, we cannot get through there. So whatever it is, is under the gigantic. Get out of my way. 
We have to make this run, which looks really close. And press the... Uh... Go away. Time stone. Lovely gut. And now these are some kind of... Whoa! What just happened here? Yes, these are some kind of rats, but you blow them though. <laughs> okay, and I'm assuming that's what these little fans were for. You've really got to keep going with them. Really got to keep holding it down and going. Okay, cool. Oh, you get! You follow me. Go oh, quick, slash in the face. Stab it in the face. Don't remember, it's a sharp movement. Okay, and then we head down. Ah, what the hell, missiles? Go away! I cannot kill you. That's like... Oh, <laughs> Not as intuitive as that, obviously. Who are you? Oh, proximity mine thing. What I'm really after is moving this platform along so I can get on it. Whichever way is fine, just let me go some way. Get a treasure chest this way, so it's all good. Central room treasure chest. We've got a monster horn as well, Crash's horn is. We've got one in this episode, or last episode. No, no, no! Tiniest jump in the world, man. Where am I now? I cannot excuse my failings. I do understand the fact that you are a proximity mine. Get me wrong, I'm not underestimating you in any way, shape, or form. I do know the pain that you can potentially dish out to me. We want to go this way. Keep going. Jump over. Give myself some hearts, thank you. And move on. Up faster. Oh, not the one I want to see, not what I want to see. Die! We'll open your door with the fan, the bellows of doom. Takashun. Finish another room. This dungeon's massive compared to the last one. Constantly throwing me in bad situations. Really bad situations. Let me get close to the other one, please. Lovely. I'll stop the incessant beeping. Obviously, need to uh, get something back up again here. Involving this block 
and that wall. All my rupees piling up as well. Man, how much am I going to be able to buy? Buy myself a bomb bag, and buy myself well, another 300 point wallet if I really want to. I wonder though if, if you could only get a wallet upgrade once for your wallet, and then the bigger size wallets that you get later are also part of the, uh, the wallet size getting. You can put an uh, upgrade on those ones as well. Well, not full field. Oh, come on. Oh, never mind. No, I feel you. Ah, get off. Of course, now they're going to be trying to jump up at me no matter what. Switch? You're really kidding. I was an amber relic and that's it. There's got to be a time stone somewhere there. Well, where? There's got to be a time stone somewhere. Where's like Oh, wait a second. It's in there. Well, I guess I can't activate it using the bellows. I have to hit it with something. I'm guessing the DQCs can get through the bars. I guess there's no collision detection. Lovely! What are you? I obviously have to kill you before I can do anything else. I need the bellows, obviously, and it's got like an, a sphere of influence, you could say. Odd monster, wasn't it? You screw it up. Well, one slash that comes out and one stab that goes in. I love how every bad guy has its own different strategy. It's not just uh, 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 exactly. It's they have proper thought process that you have to stick into the game. You run the dungeon map. Show the layout of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. Okay, so we've actually been in. No, we have still got a fair few rooms to go through. And that big room at the end of that is where we find Zelda. God, there's a hell of a lot of puzzling here. Compared to the last dungeon, it feels massive. And the funny thing is, they're probably only going to get bigger from here out as more items, more equip comes out. It's just getting better, this game, all the time. I'm not even kidding. Some more bombs, Lush. Step on the switch, not pressure plate. Open the gate and move through. Lovely. And then there's a way past to the left there, though. But for now, guys, we will end this episode. We'll save it here. We've opened up a fair expanse of the dungeon. We've got the bellows now. And now we're just moving on the dungeon, heading for Zelda, finding out what's going on and why that woman is very much very bossy and is keeping her from us. So yeah, see you around, guys. Cheers for watching. Bye bye.